Hi guys, this is Somi from Corner Cube and Android 7.0 is now out for the Motorola Moto G4 Plus right here. I have installed that over the air update I received that last night and I'm now booting into the Android 7.0. Talking about the changes, the first noticeable one is this boot screen with red colored Motorola logo on top of a blue background and the standard powered by Android text in white at the very bottom. Continuing that is the new and nice boot animation with a pretty Hello Moto sound effect as you can see and hear. Hello Moto. <laughs> the Lenovo branding wraps the boot screen up. The lock screen looks unchanged at first glance but there are subtle changes that enhance the user experience. Like this ability to manage lock screen notifications right at the lock screen is a good new add-on but the layout doesn't look properly optimized. As you can see, the overall look of the lock screen continues to be fluid but with a few hiccups that need polish. The notifications panel is by far the most appealing thing I've seen on this update. You can see there's a new animation and the toggles have undergone some minor changes as well to show you more information. So you've got more animated and informative toggle and you can also turn on the battery saver from within this shade. You can also now add new toggles as it is now paginated and flexible enough to let you rearrange your favorite ones. And you now don't have any of those fancy easter egg animations which are present in earlier android versions. You can see that long tapping only shows a little icon over at the bottom. A cat icon to be precise. Before I jump into the settings menu, let me show you that you can now reply to messages notifications from a few messaging apps like Twitter, WhatsApp and messaging from the notification drop down itself. Now the settings menu looks clean and again more informative and those cards are gone. You get your active settings notification at the very top that you can turn on or off and swipe away to dismiss. The layout looks cleaner and beautiful and yet again more informative. Tapping on any of the options present, you get a more organized view of your data and there looks to be emphasis on incorporating line bars and graphs to visually represent the device's data. And now you can also swipe from the left to access all of the menu options and jump in between them. The accessibility settings receives a few handy new features like this display size which is equivalent to changing display resolution on PCs and desktops. You can also now end calls by pressing power button and you can choose the audio channel while playing music. The accessibility shortcut present in a few OEM skins is also now natively present on Android. The system UI tuner accessible by multi long tapping the gear icon at top has also received a few new features like this power notification control which essentially allows you to custom set the importance of a notification so that it shows or not on your will. So there are not a whole lot of features and this update is more of a refinement story than reinvention. This isn't any of those major updates except for a new multitasking feature. Yet the lack of optimization is very evident especially in RAM management. In my daily usage I would found this device to stutter many a few times and that battery smoothness is now found to be missing. But yes, battery backup is slightly better. Also, if you want to discuss anything, just drop your comments in the comment section down below and we will try to interact with you as soon as possible. But by and large, the biggest new feature on Android 7 is split screen multitasking. It allows you to use two apps side by side. You can access this by long tapping the recent key with an app open and picking up any of your recent apps to be the other one. Also, the split screen layout once you have a text field open in either of the in either of the split screen is pretty nice, especially in landscape orientation. This functionality really does make the maximum use of your screen space and enhances the multitasking experience a lot. You can also do you can also swipe to the edge to go back to normal viewing and the recent button now acts like an app switcher on double press. It is pleasant that these features that TouchWiz essentially TouchWiz is sporting for years is now present on Android natively. 
There's another quick feature in the Moto Action app that brings the single-handed use to the G4 Plus. Once enabled, you can swipe up, left or right from the navigation buttons panel to shrink the screen and use this phone with one hand. This is a feature present on many other phones for some time now and is useful for people with teeny hands unlike mine. To go back, you'll have to tap on the black area to re-enable full screen.